Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. This rock blew into my backyard after a storm hit, so I'm trying to blow it away using the Zeep blower. It's not working, but it's very cool using this thing. It was all so loud. Everybody in the neighborhood complained about the noise I was making, so I was forced to go inside. All I have now is this gaming magazine, but I will admit, the choir when I'm just reading this is much nicer. It makes me wonder what it would be like if everybody everywhere was quiet. Maybe even if nobody was talking at all. A lot of cartoons have at least two individual 11 minute episodes that take up a half hour time slot and Spongebob is no different. However, the last episode was only 8 minutes long, so the next episode is obviously going to fill up the remaining 3 minutes. Reef Blower is the episode where Spongebob uses his reef blower to move a shell off his lawn that Squidward kicked onto it. This episode is notorious for its lack of voices. I've heard a couple of times that this episode was supposed to have dialogue, but the recording equipment decided to be annoying and not work for the voice actors, so the episode had to be rewritten to be silent. This could just be a rumor, but it's also the most logical explanation. Just like Help Wanted, Reef Blower aired on May 1st, 1999 after the 1999 Kids Choice Awards. However, this episode was produced in 1999, whilst the previous episode was produced in 1997. Since this episode is only 3 minutes, it's possible that it can be easily forgotten, so let's watch it right now and see if it's really that forgettable. When the episode starts, the title card has no music just seagull sounds. Okay, that's uncommon. It also just cuts directly to the episode without the opening credits or even the bubble transition. No opening credits? How will anybody know who wrote the episode now? It can be found in the end credits, but do I look like I care about that? What? Why are you looking at me? As previously stated, this episode was made in 1999 and the previous episode was made in 1997. Just with the first shot alone, we can see some differences between episodes 1 and 2. For example, the tiki poles behind Squidward's house and Help Wanted are gone now, Spongebob's house has a second front window on the opposite side, and Spongebob's shoes now make a squeaking sound as he walks. Music plays as the episode starts. Squidward comes out of his house and sees a shell on his otherwise perfect front lawn. He kicks it onto Spongebob's yard. When Spongebob comes out of his house, he sees the shell and... Slithers? over to his garage to get his reef blower. The noise annoys Squidward. As always. Spongebob tries to blow it away, but blows sand from the ground and it lands on Squidward as he's eating some kind of green food. Spongebob blows it away, but Squidward's still unhappy. Then Spongebob sees the sand pile in his yard and we hear the only line of dialogue in this episode. Spongebob sucks up the sand into the reef blower, but it breaks down due to the sand. The reef blower is sentient as it coughs. If only they were sentient in real life, I wouldn't have had to try to blow that rock away myself. After Spongebob puts the gears and sand back in the reef blower, he tries to start it by pulling the handle very far away. As it flings him back, we briefly see Fred, the fish who always yells, MY LEG, throughout the show. The reef blower sucks up the entire ocean, turning Squidward purple and suffocating him. Finally, the reef blower explodes, putting the water back and leaving sand piles everywhere. Spongebob goes back inside now that his house and front yard are clean, while Squidward is buried in piles of sand that ended up in his front yard from the explosion. Adding insult to injury, the shell from the beginning lands on Squidward's nose, and then the episode ends. Was that it? I glanced away. Well, that was it. Despite the episode not having dialogue, the music sure fits the tone and action perfectly, which adds to the experience. Additionally, there is quite a bit that goes on, like the shell landing on Squidward and the reef blower sucking up the entire ocean. The reef blower itself has really left an impact too, and it's seen again later in the series, but only a couple times. While this episode does have to fill the 11 minute timing, I feel that the lack of dialogue is what could make it feel like filler. Of course, no spoken lines doesn't make this a bad episode, far from it. I also don't feel it drags on and on either, since quite a bit happens, especially for its 3 minute length, which also automatically makes this the shortest episode in the series. Even all the future short episodes are longer than 3 minutes. However, since the recording equipment failed and there was no dialogue, they did pull it off nicely for what they had to work with. It's also from season 1, people say that automatically makes it good. 
Free flowers are pretty cool, and the fact that it's only three minutes long makes the fact that there are no spoken lines in this episode more tolerable. If it was five to 11 minutes long, it would feel much more tedious to get through with no lines, but it doesn't feel that way since the episode's only three minutes long. Also, its lack of dialogue makes me just want to mouth all the words I say from now on. 